switch on it so the switch wasn't there but uh it was just this much and it had one of these eye holes on the other side for a screw and i got it because it actually had a closed back unlike some of the other ones that it's exposed parts so uh i'm gonna go ahead and install it now in the, in the rotto and uh i think what i'm gonna end up doing is putting it here i was actually gonna put it underneath this but now i'm thinking about hanging it i don't know how well that'll work out if i did something along i mean now I, along those lines i actually kind of like that almost better to be honest with you uh, just hiding the wires might be a little bit harder, but, um, I'm not too worried about that. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do a how-to on how to do it. So, here we go. And, uh, I think I am gonna hang it, uh, previously. What I was gonna do here was this. Pop this out. Pop it under here. Like that. And I have some styrene plastic where I can make this, uh, wash. And then install that, like, eh. well, I mean, obviously those wires would be down in there. Should be like, should be like that. But now I'm liking the idea of hanging it better. So I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to go ahead and hang it. So without any further ado, here we go. Um, first what I'm going to do is, uh, I didn't put this switch on there, like I said, so I could have it on and off. I'll explain that in a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and peel off this adhesive and make it flush to the bottom rather than the top. That way I could hang it. So it'd be like, like that. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put a switch on mine. Because you could either do constant power or, um, or uh, you know, power when it's uh, on when you turn on the car. I'm going to set up the constant power because I have the PS2. So that way when the car's off, it'll still be running. I could just flick it on, and we could make sure everything's going good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mount it. It'll be mounted like that. It'll be the finished product. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fix this switch a little bit. All right, now that I've got these uh, glued together, the, this piece itself, um, what I'm going to do is you're going to have to wire the uh, positive, which is the red in this case, to the positive of this, or well, to the back of the switch, doesn't really matter which one, um, so that's pretty simple to do. So we'll take this uh, piece right here, one of these connectors, switch connectors. You gotta get plenty of these. Um, and also, I'm gonna strip this a little bit more. Okay. Twist it like twisting fingers in the club. All right. And the top end just a little bit and twist some more. Alright, and we'll, we'll put these together. And then crimp it on there. So it can't come out. Now it's crimped and this isn't coming off. Tugging on it quite a bit. And now I just simply wrap it around the back. In this case, plug it right in to itself, basically. So basically I'm turning it into its one unit. Whichever way you can get it in there, go ahead and do it. I'm gonna actually go ahead and put this on the top one. All right. Now I'm gonna plug it into a power source under here just to make sure it's working, I'll go ahead and show you that. The power from my LEDs here, and I turn this off, so those aren't going to turn on. So if I plug it into here and turn on the power, we... and it should be good. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. And uh, plug that into there. Hopefully I can ground this to something like this. I'm going to go ahead and try it, see if it works. Flip this is working there, as you can see. So I got a spindle of wire and took this long piece off, and uh, this is going to be your other power. I'm going to hook one onto a, another connector like this, and then plug it into the other end of the switch. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
So I did that. <clears throat> now we have another switch or another piece coming out of the uh, switch, and I also did ex just extend the uh, negative line so it's longer and more shit to work with. And now we're gonna go ahead and fish wires, which is the biggest pain in the ass. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is put the wires through this little hole under here. It leads through to the front, and hope we can uh, get it. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stick it through the back ones. I stuck it through the front ones earlier. It's much easier, but. So those are all fished through, as you can see they come out here and they got all this mess right here. So now we're going to go ahead and run these to their designated location. I'm going to go ahead and run these wires behind the dash under here, through there, and down through here to my control box. Also, make sure to mark on your wires which one's positive and negative, because I didn't do that, and now I'm kind of fucked, so I'm going to figure out uh, what I'm going to do here. Alright, so the negative one's got the big piece of tape on it. Now i got the two wires running behind there and coming out this side right here, where i got all my other wiring mess. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the negative to a negative and the positive to a positive. Right now I'm going to go ahead and run the positive to a positive and then show you uh, what we can do to ground it. Um, my positive I have right under here. Um, that doesn't help. Um, in here. Take out this little fuse box here. Okay. Oh man, it's really stuck here. God damn it. Alright, so all my positives run into here, so I'm gonna crimp all these together and then uh, put a new one of these on there and then we'll be good to go. So, so I'm gonna do that. So the power is in there. This wire hanging out all loopy right here is the one that's actually the wire that just ran. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and Clean this wiring up. Tuck this all behind the floorboard. I called it a floorboard. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Now I'm gonna take this and put it back over. It. And the power's all ran because it still works. So we got power. It means so. Now find now finding somewhere to ground ground this is always a pain in the ass. Um, if you just sit this on the rail and step on it. Um, you can see it works. Um, so now we just have to figure out where we're going to ground it. That's always a pain in the ass. Now I have some stuff grounded up in there, right there. It's a decent ground spot. Um, however, if I could tap into that white wire somewhere in between the way, I could, uh, just a, a ground to that, actually. So, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. So, tap into that. My second choice is maybe unscrewing that and tap into that, but... So now I got it mounted, everything looks back to normal, I think I got this right here. Well then I was even able, able to shove that pad back in there, you got some wires hanging out way back up in there, but you ain't even going to see them from here, you don't see them at all. Um, there you go, car's on, reading 9.7. Actually, I mean it's off, so you know, you're, you're alright. Pulling all that stuff through it. Um, I'm going to turn on my cop detector if it bounces anywhere. Cop detector's not working. Oh wait, it's because... There you go. So... But yeah, that's that. 